welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. A few years ago, we introduced a new workshop called the Ask the Gift, the Why. And it is an opportunity for the attendees to see an actual pitch to a possible philanthropist. We all learn for, from it. It's not only for new organizations, but all of us. We, we have an opportunity to get into the head of a philanthropist and find out what turns them on, what's going to make them give to me, to my organization. Now, the Sea Talk and Brown Association, as you know, is a non for profit, member supported, 501c3 organization dedicated to the conservation of natural wildlife right here on Long Island. So, we're here today as one of the finalists. We're, we're hoping that the fundraising professionals will give us some money to support our projects. What we do is we try to conserve Long Island wildlife. And one of the things that we found is the best way to do that is through education. And we reach the broadest audience by bringing children there and their, their parents, their caregivers, their family, and connecting them with nature and then hoping that they become future conservationists supporting the protection of wildlife around Long Island and the world. We want to design these nature exploratoriums and as weird as it may seem, we want to design natural playscapes for children to be able to come in and experience creative play in the out of doors, uh, imaginative play, and then the hope is that at some point they're going to stand up and want to go further out into the natural world. Schools wanted assemblies on diversity, sometimes because of a racial incident. But what they needed were adults in the school who were more comfortable dealing with these issues, which meant they needed training on race and racism. Erase Racism is a regional nonprofit. We are located here on Long Island, and our focus is to identify various forms of racial discrimination and then to figure out what kinds of policies and practices will help decrease the disparities that racial discrimination cause. We have a student leadership program for high school students, and that's the focus of our presentation today. And we will tell them about uh, the fact that we have 80 very diverse students from across Long Island. They come to a full day workshop, and they are learning about uh, racism, they're learning about um, what they can do to address racism, and they're having fun. It's a very interactive uh, program. How does your business become successful? What are the tools, the skills necessary that you need in order to actually have a flourishing business? What's your next move? How do you make your business a success? Here's where Hempstead Rebirth comes in. We are a community development corporation located in the village of Hempstead. It is Hempstead Rebirth, hence Hempstead. And our focus is to improve the overall quality lives of um, low to moderate income people and small businesses through economic, and develop, through economic development strategies, leveraging the resources that are available to us. There's something that Pastor Riley, who is the founder of Hempstead Rebirth, always says. He says if he was given the choice between money and training, he would take training because then the training is going to give him the ability to do what needs to happen correctly with the money. You know, so we're very excited about the opportunity to learn and making a presentation. So we're excited. We were looking for them to state their case, to state the project that they would be seeking funding for, and particularly to talk about sustainability. If they were to receive a gift today, which all of them did, how would they continue this program in the future without these dollars? So I know that they had some struggles with this because they were all three great presentations, but they asked me to um, let you know that they would like to award <laughs> In the past, this kind of grant has helped many of these organizations to sort of put their name on the map and allowed them to go out and seek additional funding based on the seed dollars they received from this session. So it is really real-life fundraising. 